I just don't feel like I'm actually a college student. And um, as for club activities and socializing events, since everything is online, I just feel like I'm participating in this massive online game. I have no idea what college is. I am like I do have an idea what it's like going to an online school. It's definitely been a weird transition to start college over Zoom. Um, but like one thing that I've noticed is that when I started doing Zoom for high school, like March thirteenth, when we went online, it was it was so weird to like see all my classmates on Zoom because I was so used to seeing them in person every single day. But for college, it feels normal. And I think that's because I haven't experienced like actual college before. I know a lot of these freshmen never dreamed that their college experience would start by opening their computer in their childhood bedroom. That was never what they wanted. For me, it's um, it's already better because it's different, like in any, in any sense of the word. Like I like the discussions better, like the class is better, there are more opportunities, et cetera. But um, it's a, a part of the reason I need to move out, I guess, at least for me, is because while I'm still in my room working at the same desk, like it feels too much like I'm in the same place. So for me, moving out is like a pretty important in terms of like getting in a different mental space altogether. Because I mean, for me, I live like very close to my old school, like still in the neighborhood. And they still have like, but they have a lot of buses going on. So like, this is a small specific thing. But for me, like when I'm, when I'm like in my room and I can see the buses going past me, that like makes my mental health worse. I'm like, oh man, I'm still here. <laughs> so that has been like those little things being reminded that I'm still so close to my school. My social life, I don't have much of one, honestly, <laughs> because um, I'm better at getting to know people in person. Like if I'm in a large group chat, I can't really put myself out there and talk in the large in the large um, group because I am I can't really bring myself to type the type on the keyboard because it's easier to just sit back and not. To do anything or say anything than it is um, in a large group if you were in person because in person it's more I don't know it forces you to interact more I feel. For those of us who are in New York I think it is easier because particularly with GS like I think I don't know maybe it's because we're a smaller school like I think there's such a hunger uh, to build community and to you know take this ambiguous time and like really make it as anchored as possible. You know so much of that social engagement and differentiation from your family happens that first semester of college. And now these students aren't able to do that. They're being asked to perform at a college level and do work, but they're not being supported with the environment of the college campus. I'm, I'm a pretty extroverted person, so I'm trying, like, I'm trying to be really active in like creating new like friendships, things like that. Like I didn't want to just kind of be at home, not doing anything. That's why I'm so excited to move out. But um, off the bat, I joined a lot of clubs. I like I'm in like a lot of like different discussion groups, things like that, to try to meet new people. So again, it's like I mean, obviously everything's different right now. People reach out on Instagram. I reach out on Instagram, so that's probably the main way that you can communicate. But in terms of the large lecture classes, you don't really have that luxury of just speaking to your next door neighbor. So if you want to private message someone, that may or may not be met with a response. So, and socially, it feels like. A lot of people are really willing to reach out if, if it's even if it's just over Instagram DM like so many of my classmates have been really really nice at reaching out um, and like everyone is in the same boat everyone wants to make friends and so I've had so many conversations with people and that's been really really nice um, but it's still weird to it feels like more artificial and more like it's an effort to make friends than I think it would be usually especially starting college right now with the, you know, with social media being this like imaginary barrier to an authentic conversation with someone, it's much, it's much easier. It's like a crutch. It's a crutch. And 
you know, I think it will have lasting impacts on these students' ability to form friendships and, you know, engage in person. It's traumatic. Like, you know, having your whole college experience start this way with this much instability and this much stress fueling your experience, it's going to have an impact. I think for the most part, it's just made it more difficult for me to imagine what it's going to be like. Um, I think like now that I have the, now that I have things going on Zoom, I feel like I'm almost kind of getting used to that. So I do wonder like what the rest of my classes are gonna be like for the rest of my years, assuming that this goes away soon. Um, but, but yeah, like it, I think it's just made like my view of how my general life is gonna be a little bit more blurry.